So today and yesterday, I spent the entire days doing a bunch of busy work where I was just catching up on emails and, um, you know, doing things that most people would consider work. But as an, an academic, as a researcher, I don't consider it work. And I was doing things like arranging stuff for conferences, and organizing things, you know, doing a lot of administrative stuff for us contacting people, doing all number of different things. And I literally have not gone out today and it is six o'clock in the afternoon. I was looking at my door and I realized, oh my gosh, I haven't even gone out. So I started working um, right at the get-go. So right now, my family is not with me. I am in one of the most beautiful cities of the world, probably perhaps the most beautiful city of the world. Um, in Florence, Italy. I just have not made time to go explore. I spent a great deal of time uh, hanging out with my family when they were here, but now um, I've been doing all of this kind of busy work. And I was thinking about, you know, what does that mean? Why am I actually telling you this? I want you to sort of see what my life is and when when i think about this i'm actually burdened with feeling guilty that i am not maximizing the opportunities that i actually have at my fingertips um but at the same time that there's just so much going on and i'm involved in multiple different things that i can't get things done and the thing that actually matters, the one thing, if any of you are following this, you're sort of in the research game, the only thing that really matters is actually writing and is getting down and, and, and working through hard problems. But I can't do that with how things sort of worked out at this moment. And it's difficult to actually get to writing my own ideas and, and if you are in this game, you'll realize that you're sort of burdened with a lot of guilt that you can't get to it. And your whole life is sort of doing all of these other things, whether it's teaching administration or organizing conferences and coordinating people, all of that stuff in the long run doesn't necessarily matter. Um, in terms of how people would look at you and in, in the sort of responsibilities that you actually have or what you'll get recognized for. I, and, and on top of it, it's kind of bizarre that I'm in this wonderful city, incredible city, There's so much that's here and I had plans to go do um, you know, go to, to one of the museums, maybe I'll still get a chance to go to it. But I was prioritizing getting all of this stuff done and sort of coordinating so that other people, yeah. I didn't let other people down. And I still often feel like I, I let other people down with the actions that I'm choosing. Now, I want everybody to know, so whether you're in the research game, you're doing sort of academic stuff to not necessarily feel guilty with anything that you choose, just to enjoy the moments that you're, that you have, um, and really just enjoy the whole process along the way, sort of focus on like, this is actually pretty cool to be able to do these things. The other thing that I want people to sort of realize if you're not in it um, is to just recognize how sort of challenging that sometimes things can be with anybody that is, that is doing it doing the whole research game, but then also recognize and sort of appreciate that it's not 
an easy affair. I think the sort of mass market part of the whole reciprocity project is sort of demonstrating to the mass market that, um, you know, that there is a lot that goes on. And I think any time that somebody perceives, hey, you're just sitting there doing nothing, um, what are you doing with your time? In particular, sort of careers that make a lot of money, um, they likely just don't understand the career. They don't understand what's going on, and they don't see the nitty gritty. And I think about any particular career like that, whether you're a CEO, you know, whether you're in in science or whether you're a doctor. I had this conversation with um, a dentist that 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 I know. Um, and it was kind of sad. Uh, he's got this family, and this whole family was going away on vacation, but he couldn't leave his practice, even though that he was making an extraordinary amount of money because people were relying on him. And I think we need to sort of realize that and put things into perspective, is that everybody's life has... Um, pluses and minuses, and there's not really sort of a clear-cut thing that you should be doing. And it's never as easy as one would assume on either side. I just think we should take a step back and think about the, just, just think about being empathetic with anybody and in any situation just realize that it's never easy to go to the ambulance. Realize that everybody's life has pluses and minuses, pros and cons, and it's never as easy as you might think it might be. But it might never be as hard as we might think it is as well. I just want you to have sort of clarity to know um, that there are, just to give you sort of a behavioral view or sort of like a normative view of what people actually do. And just so you're aware, so you understand. You can see it. Um, and maybe you resonate if you're in an academic career, and maybe you don't. But um, I want people to, say, to understand that there's just a lot of nuance and a lot of things that happen. Um, and there's not really one main. It's, it's not as easy as people think. Um, and it may not be as hard as what people think as well. All right. Take care. And I'm going to